Hi there, this is Pinal once again and today we are going to see how to inspect a browser with inspect element option. But first, what exactly is inspect element? And well, consider any web page. On the surface, all we see is a bunch of text with images and videos, right? But underneath that, it is made up of HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. And inspect element is a tool that lets the user interact with those code. Now the important question here is, why should an average user care about inspect element? Now what I mean to say is, it is understandable if you're a web developer and then you're using inspect element. But how would an average user would benefit from it? And well, if you know how to use inspect element right, you can do pretty nifty stuff with it. And we are going to see 5 of them in this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now one good thing about internet is, if you can see it, then you can download it. Now what I mean to say is, if you can see an image or a video, then you can probably download it on your system, even if the webmaster don't let you do that. For example, let's take Twitter. Say I want to download the cover image from this Twitter profile. Now like always, there is no direct option here. So what I will do is, right click on the cover image and then choose the inspect element option. You will see a new window pop open from the bottom of the screen. Go to the elements tab and then look for the div that highlight the images. And there you will find the server link of the image. Simply copy paste it in a new tab and there you see a download option. Simple right? Similarly you can also use this option to download videos where there is no option to do it. For example let's take Instagram. So as you know there is no official way to download videos from Instagram. But you can easily do that with inspect element option. Let me show you how. Right click on the video that you want to download and then select the inspect element option. Like in the previous case, a new window will pop open from the bottom of the screen. And in the element tab, move your cursor such that the video gets highlighted. And then expand the div tag and there you will find the download link. Copy paste it in a new tab and there you will see the video in full resolution. Now all you have to do is right click on it and there is a download option right there. Now this one is the most popular use of inspect element and I'm pretty sure most of you are already aware of this. However, this trick is so useful that it's worth mentioning once again. So let's say you want to log in to Amazon mobile app but you don't remember the password. But thankfully it is saved on your browser password manager. Now although the browser hides the password in dots, you can still easily reveal it using the inspect element. Simply right click on the password field and select inspect element. Scroll the pointer till you see the password field highlighted. And then open the div tag and under input type replace the password with text. Now click on the web page and your password is visible in plain text. Pretty cool right? Now on a related note, if you are using Chrome, then you can also go to password.google.com from any device. Sign in with your Google account and there you will see all the safe password. Yeah, Google knows a lot about you. Now I have nothing against paying for the high quality content. It is a good way to support the author. However, sometimes things may get little overboard. For example, let's take this article on Financial Times. Unfortunately, it's hidden behind the paywall. Now if you only want to read one article, then it don't make any sense to pay for entire month, right? So here's what you can do. Right click and select inspect element. Now go to the element tab and click on the cursor icon and then place the cursor on the pop-up box. Now then go to the inspect element and delete the highlighted part and that's it. But wait, we still see no content, so why is that? Well, this is because bigger websites are smart enough to not render all the content inside the web page. But most websites on the internet that are using this pop-up are not that smart and don't have the resources like financial times. So this trick will also work there. For instance, you might have seen pages like these where writer asks you to share the article if you want to read the complete post. Well, in such cases, you can simply use this trick. Simply right click on it, select the pop-up and delete it. Now in some cases, there are also transparent layer which will avoid you to make any clicks. So highlight that and delete it. And there we go, you have the content right in front of you.
Now there is no practical use of this trick other than pranking your friends. But it can also show you why you should not trust any screenshot you find on the internet. For example, let's say I want to edit this Wikipedia page. So all I have to do is open developer tool, then go to console and paste the following command. I will also add it in the description of this video. Now close the window and you can write anything you want here. You can even replace the images and video. So as you can see, this is the reason why you should not blindly trust any screenshot you see on the internet. I know a good number of people who use this trick to modify their results appearing in the university websites. Now the previous trick only applied to the web page that you see on the screen. The moment you refresh your page, the changes will be gone. However, there is one practical implementation of this trick. Let me show you how. So let's say I am writing a post on WordPress and I have made this same spelling mistake in the entire post. Now this is just an example. In your case, it could be an email that you are typing. Now manually editing these is not an option. Yes, I can copy paste the document in some word processor and then use the find and replace option. But then it will mess up my formatting. And this is where this inspect element console comes into picture. Simply open the inspect element, find the div id of the text where you want to apply the find and replace function. Once you get it, copy it in your clipboard. Now go to the console tab and type the following command. I will leave it in the description of this video as well. Now here, replace the div id with the id that you have copied and replace the before and after text with the text that you want to replace. Once done, hit enter and as you can see, all the words are replaced. Now since most editors have auto save feature, it will automatically save this to the server as well. By the way, this is also one common way how hackers penetrate the server. So that's it for now. If you have learned something new today, then give this video a thumbs up. Also if you have a video request, then let me know in the comment section below. And yes, if you haven't already noticed, I have a new schedule running on. That is, I will be publishing new videos on every Tuesday and Saturday. So if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do it now. So until next time, this is Manal signing off and like always, thanks for watching.